Good morning, everybody. Good. Any morning. Good morning, everyone. I am. Um, I need both my hands today, so I can't operate my character. So, therefore, you, I am. You are a sleepy bird. Sleep. Yeah. But Very I can. Good. I can still see chat. So hello. Everyone do. Oh. Oh, you do. Sorry. I um, as you might have noticed. As you might have noticed, I'm trying out something. Trying out a little little new camera here. Yeah. Yeah. Go. It's, it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a follow cam on it. A little bit. Just seeing how it feels. I've got this one, and then I've got this one. You did a little follow. Um, so how you, how you all doing? Welcome to the Animation Breakfast Club. I'm I'm Doig. I'm a little bear. This is Swifty. She's Hello. your little bird. Bird. Uh, do stuff. Really. This week it's a little weird for me because it's a deadline week. So things always get weird for me on deadline week because they get freaky, man. Can you guys hear Swifty? Oh no. Yeah, it looks like they can hear you. Oh, good. I got okay. scared. Okay, oh, that's all good. Uh, they saying you got this, India. Oh, you guys are sweet. Thank you. I'm trying. Oh my god, it's hard. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Why is it Wednesday? Why is it Wednesday? Oh shit. 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 Oh shit. Oh, why is this? Um, yeah, see how this goes. I think I think for scenarios where the camera is like this close, we shouldn't move all as all that much. Cause it's very, very tight. But then instances where it's like this one, this one's better. Running around. You do have sound. And then we got the fixed cam. Like oh, before. Just, oh god. Follow the door bell. So, how are you doing, Doi? I'm doing okay. I got to do some tinkering yesterday. I got to I got to do some stuff. Got to do some stuff or you got to do some stuff. I I got to. Oh nice. Yeah. Oh nice. What do you do? Well, mostly it was this camera and then a couple of bug fixes. Yeah, I think it's the new camera. What do you think of the new camera? I think it's pretty sweet. I like it a lot. It's great. 
think you're cool, dude. It feels a little bit more like you can appreciate the space we're in. But um, I know that a lot of motion all the time is... Is definitely something. <laughs> oh gosh, you're hard to pick up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm probably just gonna keep tinkering away this morning. Um, no real plans. Although, I do have a small little side project that maybe will come to the fore. Um, because we had some cool stuff arrive in the post yesterday. Oh yeah! Um, yeah, it's super cool. It's pretty dope. What Let's just say I'm 5% more fashionable than I was yesterday. What's behind the camera? What are you hiding? It's just a wall. The wall. The wall. Read the wall. Hiding anything. It's just a wall. What are you hiding? <laughs> this is my wall. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Oh shit. There's an Ionoki Chromail. Just a wall. You see? Just, it's just a wall. Oh, no, I can't oh, believe oh, you'd oh, think oh. there was anything hidden here. I can't believe you'd think I would be hiding anything from you. It's just yeah. a wall. So just don't look too close. Only a wall. Only a wall. You don't need to be wasting your own time. I'm just saying that to spare you wasting your own time. Don't look closely. It's just a wall. I'm gonna I'm gonna read this crow mail one I sec. Oh, okay, yeah. You did. India woke up. It was Saturday. Her phone rang. It was her client. Congratulations, they said. You did so well on your deadline that we decided you won at deadlines. What did I win? Asked India. <laughs> a promotion, replied the client. Aww. But it was a contract, said India. Yes, said the client. We promoted your holiday and hired you an, ass your assi hired you an assistant. India's new assistant walked in. It was a little mouse who makes tea. Here is <laughs> your tea, said the mouse. India drank it. It was very good tea. Oh, <laughs> that's adorable. I love it. I love it. Wait, why did the wall disappear? Okay, well, that wasn't my dad. That's very great. I don't know about you guys, but it feels like the bombs, like, they're a little bit less fun these days. They sort of, like, even though they spawn, they kind of, like, they go, and then they go, and then... Well, I, I thought that one got me. That one got me. What's the difference, do you feel like, between... I I feel like the space is bigger, so they have more room to kind of go and less of an just, impact. Yeah, they just go and do their own thing. I think you also did turn down how much damage they do a while back. Uh... Did I? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, is there no more action for resubbing? No more gifts? There should there should be. Should be. Is it not working? Because that's its own problem. Did someone resubscribe? Someone did seven minutes ago. Resubscribe. Oh no, Thank it's you over for here. Subscriptions. It's over here. I think that's another problem. Is that sometimes the subs, even if it's working, they just go away from the camera so we can't see them yeah like is it possible for you to have it spawn in from above the camera rather than spawn in from x place in the room yeah yeah i think we can do and they a always bit fall more. in front of the camera i think we can do more for for that yeah Red. thank you very much titanium atlas thank you titanium atlas yeah i think we can i think we can build a better more appropriate 
you could follow. Better, more appropriate appropriate system for things. Put it on, put it on the table. Martina says, I just looked at the follow account. It's over 9,000! Over 9,000! So you can finally post that thing. I can, I can. You should I, post it today on Twitter. I made it. Okay, I'll do that, I'll do that. I'll find it and I'll post it. I, I think it's on the old computer. I think it also says YouTube subscribers. <laughs> no, I think... Oh, does it? it do I don't think it says follow account. I think, you go, I think it goes... 50. What does the... Does, doesn't it? Yeah, what does the scouter say about our subscriber count? What does it say about our YouTube power level? Shit. You see? No. I mean, you could record another voice line if you had the file and just pop it in there instead. Swifty. Yeah, I could. I could. Swifty. 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 I could. I could. Basically, that, one, that voice was so good, though. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, Doik made a over 9,000 animation for our YouTube for when we reached 9,000 subscribers and just never posted it. Never posted it. He basically did get it done in time, and then when he did get it done, he just didn't post it. So, <laughs> now, ever since, he's been looking for opportunities to, uh, to use it. Yeah. Not very good. <laughs> it's not very good. That's why I didn't. I didn't didn't post it because it wasn't very good. What are you talking about? You're I proud of it. You like it. It's great. What's like, wrong with you? I like the. I like the. I liked your parts of it where your voice did the voice thing. We were Nappa and Vegeta. India doesn't even know who they are. But we had wore them. I wish I had a Nappa. I wish I could take a Nappa right <laughs> you now. You wish you could take a Nappa. Yeah. Oh, don't take a Nappa. They're destructive. Uh, okay, I won't. But only because you asked me not to. Yeah. Wow, what's this awesome audio track that's playing? It's the Dogsworth theme from oh, Paper Box House. That's why it's so awesome. And Swift A! And a Swift A! Go. Apps are wonderful, I agree. Yeah, I guess India's not really going to be doing anything. Well. That you can see. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just head over. Go on, go on with you. Over there. Pro mail. Here we are. Kind of cool that the camera followed us, huh? We're just out here on the deck. Maybe I should make it so that the door can open. So you take a deck pick. Send it to our friend. You'd just be glad that there's a wall there. Why? So I threw you for that. Don't throw me. Threw you. No. Goodbye forever. Now. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. Goodbye. I'm never coming back again. I've left into the sky. Goodbye. 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 Good. Good. <laughs> you, you get out of here. You get out of here. You get out of you here. Get out of, you get out of here. I'm not, I can't get, get out of here. Get I'm out. Here. You're away. You're gone. On my way. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> it's gone. My deck now. <laughs> Big deck. <laughs> Would you, <laughs> you stop? <laughs> you just get out of here. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not even here. I'm asleep. Stop be kind to me. I yeah, brought her back. I'm still getting used to the, all the buttons for the cameras because they're a little bit different now. A little, just a little bit. I think it. I think it's this button. 
Oh, why? Come on, come on, come on. We're here, we're here, come on, we're here. Come here. on, camera, God! We're here, and we're here, then we're here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, Doig, are you going to actually reveal what we got in the post? At any point? Yeah, I will. <laughs> but, um, you teased that, and I feel like you've kind of forgotten what you were doing. No, 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 I think, I think, I think I broke the, I broke, I've broken this. It's, oh this is broken. Gosh. I've broken oh, this. Oh, immediately. Yeah, it's got, it's so, it's super broken, dude. All right. All right. And swift, A, and swift, A, and swift. It's me. Ah. Uh, all right, get what, well, yeah, what? Well, I'll run over here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Come on, Swifty, just come, just come over I'm here. I'm coming. Presumably. Okay, if you stand here... Sure. <laughs> and I'll stand here. Awesome. <laughs> I love this arrangement of us. You can sort of see favorite. what I'm doing. Oh, no. I actually have to think. Oh no! Intern on the internet says, do you use a stream deck for camera controls or are they part of the character controller? A uh, mixture of both. Um, there are some cameras that I can put on. Um, that I can put on with the stream deck and there's some cameras that I can put on with the controller. So... The issue I'm having here is that <clears throat> the new cameras are so high priority that even even when we're over here, I okay. So this should be this should be. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. This should be... Does this... Oh. Oh, I, f I figured it out. Oh, nice job, dude. That was fast. Okay, that was weird. Okay, well, that's a, that's a loophole. Okay, I get it. We do not... We do not perceive the crow mail. Is there a crow and, mail? Yeah, check the crow mail. Need to be responsible it's for a, them it's today. A, it's a Ben one. Alright, Ben says, India woke up. The little mouse had made her some delicious tea. She oh, drank no. the tea. It had a strange flavor this time. Oh, no. You oh, why did you make a part two to the... <laughs> you piggybacked off Iron Oakies and corrupted it. I see you. Oh, no. I see where this is going. I feel it in my bones. Okay, I'm gonna read them. Read, read, read them some more. Read them some more. Read them some more. Go ahead. Doing it on my box. Okay. All right. Take my soapbox. Go ahead. I'm reading it. Go on then. Mm. <laughs> uh, you started to see. It had a strange flavor this time. She started to see star stars and shapes in the distance. The time start time started to slow down. <gasps> That's a good idea. You just gave me an idea. The I mouse also like the thought of time slowing down right now. Mm -hmm. The mouse climbed up on her shoulder and India found herself unable to move. The mouse pulled out a long, thin blade. It was finally going to <laughs> get some of that delicious brain cheese it had heard about. <laughs> It rammed the blade up in India's nose. Ow! What has this got to do with the tea tasting funny? It drugged you. Oh! Paralyzed you with the tea. Oh, I didn't get that. I'm too dumb. It's brain. It's gonna find the brain cheese is, is somewhat old, moldy, and not very smart. Thank you very much for the... Rupees. Get the, get the sub. I'm 
I was, right, I was mid flow. You're right. You seem... I'm okay. I'm tired. I was up. I it was accidentally up until three a.m. So I was just tinkering, and then and then I was listening to Devin and Todd talk about Mega Man and and uh, game development and stuff. And then I was like, oh, shit, I should probably check the time. Holy shit, it's three a.m. Holy shit. Only shit. Only ship. Um. Yeah, Hank and Pink. Hank and Pink. Thank you for thank you for your uh, your, your your subscription. Thank you. Hi, Loki. It's true. We do know that my brain is just another me. <laughs> just a tiny raisin. <laughs> is that why you posted on the Gardic server today? Um. Did I? Did you? Did I? Did you? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, I, I oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I um, I, I all right. Uh huh. A new thing they did. Uh huh. A new thing. Yeah, go on. <clears throat> oh, is it? Is it the jam? I put jam on the top. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I should have known. Should have known. Look, there's jam on the toast now. That's why it's sticky. Oh my god. Oh. Do you want a little bit of jam on your toast? Do you want a little bit of jam on your toast? Oh, it's so close. Take it, take it, take it on the toaster. Oh Put my god. Put jam on your toast. Yeah. This is... Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. You're right, Doug. It grazed you. What's, oh, you're firing it. Oh, okay, I should have known. Yeah, all right. I got you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, congratulations. Let's jam. I've always meant to put jam on the toast. Now I'm happy that it's got jam on the toast now. For, for your American audience, it's jelly. For your American audience, that's apparently how my dad lost his hair. <laughs> yeah told me when I was a kid Indeed. and he claims ignorance now so I can't even call him out for it I can't yeah. tell him off because if I tell him what he told me he doesn't believe that I t he told that to me but he did yeah India claimed that what what was it he said that he was walking down the street eating a jam sandwich and the wind blew the jam sandwich out of his hand and onto his head and then when the jam sandwich blew off his head again it took his hair with it what he told me and I told my friends at school that when I was like seven, and they were like, you idiot. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, yeah. I now realize having said it out loud to another person that that probably didn't happen. But he will not admit it now. Of course, India. Also, I got a really nice text from my mum the other day. Oh, saying, did you? Saying good luck with your headline. Good luck, money hole. Oh, if you're listening, thank you very much. Sweet. Aww. Yeah, I appreciate it. Nice. Got a little, little text. Being like, good luck on the last stretch. And I was like, you know! Thank you. Yeah, India's on her final week of of everything. The final deadline. Do 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 do. And she's... You're surprisingly chipper for day one. Day one. Of you know. <laughs> what do you mean day one? Day one. What? In what manner of speaking is this day one? Day one. Don't you mean day like six hundred? I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about your uh, your freelance contractual employment. I what mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> biologically, day one. Oh, by yeah, yeah. It's it's blood moon time, guys. You're very chipper. It sucks. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Anywho, let's not talk about that. There's I'm not going to talk about. about it. I'm just, I just wanted like you. You're doing okay though. Uh, well, you know. It, it started yesterday night, and I was like, oh, shit. Okay. Like, what What timing? Yeah, it always... Mid-week, mid final week. It always knows. Like, like mid-week, final week, the day I have a check-in. What perfect timing for it to come and just, just... Like, if my creativity was, like, a puppy, then it would be being kicked by this. <laughs> 
So, so I basically oh. put out some painkillers for myself. I put out supplies for myself. I did everything I could do so that when I got up this morning, I could um, try and stave off anything too bad. Kersik says, Blood Moon Buddies. You've synced up. Yeah, yeah, Which yeah. Which one of you is the alpha? <laughs> is that the way it works? There's an alpha Blood Moon person. Yeah. The matriarch. Yeah. The, the master she chef. <laughs> The master chef. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Yeah, so it's it's not it's not great, but you know, I prepared as best I could. Does it make sense to me to say like I don't have time to be sick? So, <laughs> not that I ever do, but you know, not that you ever do. Got no time for it. Got I ain't no got no that. time. All right. Because so, says this time I'm the alpha. Okay. Because she because she started on Monday. I'll be I'll be the alpha next. <laughs> you're the, the you're the gammy beta. beta. Rotatory alphas. <laughs> Rotatory. Just like kebabs. Like just like chicken. <laughs> yeah, chicken. <laughs> it's rotisserie. <laughs> Are you thinking of? Well, rotisserie means they're still rotating, right? They're still on a spit. I don't know. Is that what it means? It, isn't it? I don't know. I thought rotisserie, is rotisserie was like a rotisserie just a, a really thing? fancy word for it spins? No, I think it, rotisserie is like a place to buy food or something. Look it up. Let's learn what rotisserie means. I've always thought it meant on a... On a, on a... Well, let's find out. <laughs> let's prove it to ourselves. Okay. <laughs> Why not do some learning? To the Google machine. The Google machine. Go 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 That's true, I get to enjoy the time after the deadline without the blue moon. That's true. But if there was ever a time when I needed all the hours and to be like on my game, it would be right now. Be right now. Be right now. So it's it's frustrating. But it's not like I didn't see this coming. Like, I knew in my bones it was going to be a close call between free time and oh. deadline. Rotisserie, also known as spit roasting, is a style of roasting where the meat is skewered on a spit and a long solid road used to hold food while it is being... ...cooked in a fireplace or over a campfire or roasted in an oven. The method is generally used for cooking large joints of meat. The rotation cooks the meat evenly in its own juices and allows easy access for continuous basting. Wow, oh, what do you know? It's a manner of cooking what, what? which rotates. What, what? I got it. You were right. The bear was right. Again. The bear was right. Again. I googled it and I found the answer. It's always right. I'm scared of showing, like... Should be. Uh, stuff, like abs and whatever on on because i've got so much stuff open that's to do with my nda work that i just have to i have to blank the screen i'm yeah, sorry but don't don't risk it not worth it <laughs> it just entered why are you talking about meat we're talking about cooking pork have you not been here before porky boy porky boy <laughs> porky boy yeah we weren't we we're talking about chicken and rotisserie chicken yeah we were, we were talking about deadlines stuff. how are you doing how do you how do you say it? is that porchetta? Porchetta. Or, or is it porchetta? Porchetta. Don't remember don't remember desk ham. Don't don't invent desk kebab either. Desk kebab desk sounds kebab. really kind of. It's a fun word to say. Desk, desk kebab. Kebab. <laughs> There's so many uh, consonants to bounce off. Desk kebab. Yes. This kebab. This kebab. This kebab. This kebab. Do you want this kebab? I bought you this kebab. <laughs> that reminds me of the other day where you just started singing Omulet. Omulet. Omuleto. Omulet. Omulet. Omuleto. Omulet. Oh, omulet. Do you not remember? Nope. Oh, it's the, it's the, um, I'm bum, on bum. my way. Omulet. Wake me up now. That's the one. Open my eyes. <laughs> Omelet. Omelet B. I don't know the words. Omelet. Bibliom, bibliom. 
I'm going to come over and reset your uh, controller. I would like to hold my little hand. We will run. We will fly. Omelette. Omelette. Bum bum omelette. Bum bum omelette. Wake me up now. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I don't that. know the actual words. Bumblet. Bumblet. I just sing what I heard when I was a kid. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I, I You had you had <laughs> you had your toes stuck to your face and so you were constantly going backwards, so I've saved you. I can't. Sounds like real life. I've been having non toast because we don't have a toaster. So I've been having everything that I would normally have with toast but on bread instead. I'm sorry, I don't know why you- I thought you guys would be interested. Oh yeah, we don't have a toaster- we don't have a toaster and we don't have a microwave. So all of our cooking options are... Cook. Cooking oven. Cooking- cooking- cooking oven. Cooking oven. Or cooking hob. That song is like 1991, is that when it's from? That's so 1991. I like the Ice Age movie. Me too. I know it from Matilda though. She makes pancakes and I think that's one of the reasons I think it said omelette. Because she was making, she was cracking eggs and it was like omelette, bum bum, omelette, bum bum. Oh omelet. my god, what the hell? What the hell? What? What? What's up? India. What? Look at my screen. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Martina! You've outdone yourself! That's incredible! What the hell? That's so good. That is so good, Martina! What the heck? Martina makes the best thumbnails. I'm kind of terrified. If you ever needed proof, this is the proof. I'm kind of, I'm kind of terrified of this. <laughs> Martina said I scared myself. <laughs> right? It's great though, isn't it? Isn't this just everything you ever wanted to be? Vegeta! What are you doing? Are you... Hello? <laughs> hello, hello. Are you thwarting my plans? Uh, 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 no. I think you're thwarting my plans. I can't remember how that scene actually goes anymore. I, I, I remember enjoying it. I'm gonna watch it today. You're gonna watch it today? I'm gonna watch it today, yeah. Wake me up now. Kinda of funny that you're singing that, but you are you are asleep. Wake me up now. Look at my eyes. Alright, I guess I should do something. I guess you probably should. I guess I probably should do something. Alright. I'm gonna do something that's obviously visual today because I realized that a lot of the stuff that I've been doing has been um text. Yeah, like been coding. Some people really like codes. It's been it's been more like just doing a little tweak here and there for cinematic, but I wanna, gonna I wanna plan make the something. cinematic. Yeah, I'm gonna make Are you something. finally gonna tell people what arrived in the mail? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell people what arrived like, in the mail by show by minutes making into it. the stream. <laughs> um So we got sent some we got sent some cool twerp swag. Way twerp shirts. And they sent us um they sent us some new t shirts and uh the album, the more the recent albums. Whoa 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 Which we, we had digitally but it's really nice to have the actual physical copies because the the art on it is so nice yeah it's super cool like the dude who does the art for them is called laser horse and his pieces are incredible the cover, cover art for twerps albums is always so cool so i'm i'm gonna make i'm gonna make a t-shirt that's my plan you hear that chrome eldoy uh, they did. Pilkey said India was asleep. If she stayed this way, Ben's Cromwells couldn't hurt her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's the solution to everything. Just go to sleep. 
Porky Boy says, would I ever be allowed to mail you guys stuff? Yeah? Um, well, that one, that one seemed to arrive okay. I uh, mean, we trust you, Porky Boy. Don't send us any mail wieners. We had, we had someone send something to us one time and we had to pay customs on it for some reason. Oh yeah, that sucked. And... It wasn't their fault, like, they didn't know. Yeah, I won't say what it was that was sent. But we had to, we ended up having to pay like $90. Yeah, to receive to, it. To, like, <laughs> to the guy in the van to, for them to hand it over to us. I think I got scammed, but I looked it up later and it was, it was an actual thing. Yeah, so I don't think you did get scammed. Unless but, you count, like, the fact that it happens at all as a scam, which... But I think that was because... At the time we were in Ireland, and because it got sent, I think because... I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why either, you know? I thought it was maybe a Brexit thing to do with the UK, but it wouldn't really make sense considering where the package was coming from, which was the UK. No, wait, that was it. It was because it got sent to Northern Ireland first, right? And then had to be sent down? Maybe. And therefore, because... Northern Ireland is part of Brexit. It was like weird custom stuff because it was. Yo, thank you for the the resub. Thank you. Good morning, Michael Rodriguez. Art. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Um, we are. Uh, George, we're not still in still in Ireland. We we have moved. But um, we would, uh, we would love a visit. We did a low-key move. We did. It was very low-key because it was mid-deadline, so it was very rushed. Panicked. Like, a flatmate was also looking to move, so there definitely felt like there was a timer on it. Yeah, in Ireland you pay customs charges at the point of delivery for anything coming into Ireland if the seller doesn't pay the customs. There we go. That's so possibly what happened. Probably what happened. Um, that was that was <laughs> that was a bit of a like oh okay yeah again not the person's fault it was a very sweet thing to receive in the mail um, I don't think they knew that was going to happen Uh, oh, right. Back to this. Alright. Maybe we should get like a P.O. box set up. I don't think we receive enough stuff to justify that. Like, we really receive... From people who aren't like family, we receive like two packages a year, <laughs> maybe less. So it feels like that might be a little overkill. Maybe what if it's a kind of build it and they will come? <laughs> come build it and they will come. come to now. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know, dude. up a throne and see what happens <laughs> build it they will worship right Set up a shrine see what happens
Is a delivery from a person or from a shop? Doesn't make sense to pay custom if it's non-commercial. My feel, my thought is that, um, it was like it wasn't a, it wasn't a sale. I did, it wasn't something we bought that was getting delivered, and I think was... maybe the person who sent it sent it as if it was, or like just kind of maybe filled out the form wrong or something. I don't know. But it's fine. Yeah. I know. Isn't it weird to see me without a scarf now? The model. I got that feeling as well. So used to it. Do you think I should make a T-shirt, India? Or do you think I should make I should make a T-shirt because that's what we received? I was gonna be like, maybe I could just make a hoodie, but we received a T-shirt. I mean, you could make a hoodie, but I think you should make a T-shirt. Because okay. I've got it. I also think it's it's nice to um change the <gasps> mesh times. You know, it's always disappointing when you're playing a video game and it's like, oh my gosh, your character has new outfit options. And you're like, yay, that's awesome. I wonder what it could be. And then it's like just a retexture of what you already have. And you're like, oh man, they just slapped a different color on this t-shirt that my character already is wearing. And that's all the character customization will ever be. We'll never get new meshes. It'll just be different color versions of what I already have or with a different. Yeah, you know what I mean. I hear what you get it. You get it. You hear, get what it. You, hear what you're putting though. You and I am not alone. Not a body would I do. Show you. Welcome Raiders! Michael Rodriguez Art just raided! Oh hey! Hey! Thank Thanks you very raid. much! Welcome in! How was your stream? What were you up to? Shout out for Michael Rodriguez Art! Thank you for the shout out, Martina. Had fun, you're working on Ghibli themed tarot prints. That Whoa. sounds really cool. That is rad. Or are you using like the different um, stories? Like the uh, characters from the tarot deck? Or is it like, is it card art or is it more of a. Um, a style thing. Which card is Howl? Maybe I shouldn't have deleted. And just make this. Got five of them done so far. You're working on different movies and characters for each of the major arcana. I want to try and have 22 prints at the end of each of the major arcana. Amazing. Yeah, if you want to drop any in, do feel free. I think they have. So, like, if you want to grab a look. Grabbing. Martina popped. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, cool. The musician. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Kiki. All right, everyone in chat. I want to know favorite Ghibli film. Ah, 
Al's going to be the hangman card and also in the lovers with Sophie. Oh, cute. What did you ask? I asked a uh, favorite Ghibli. The Bray says Grape of the Fireflies. I've never seen that one. Kind of scared to watch it um, because I think it'll be so sad that I will weep many tears. Now, as a curse of star spikes, PG Heart says Laputa. That's my favorite right there. Spirited Away uh, says Ben. What was your first? Uh, Princess Mononoke. And that's my second favorite. Ayanoki says Mononoke, but Spirited Away is probably the one I've seen the most. Calvi says My Neighbor Totoro. Yeah, Mononoke is the first one I watched, and I was like, oh! <laughs> I'd never seen. Um... Well, that's a lie. I had seen some animated violence before. Because um, I accidentally bought a Giver VHS at a car boot sale because I thought the robot looked cool. Oh, you got Giver. Oh I, my gosh. That's... I got Giver and started watching it and then was like, ah! How old were you? <laughs> like 12. That's got a lot of body horrors. Yeah. So I saw the live action adaptation of Giver before. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Princess Mononoke was the second one I watched. But I was that was one where I was so enraptured in the story that I didn't really like the body horror or anything or the gore didn't put me off. Also, the gore's very fantastical in a way. There are very grounded parts to that movie and very fantastical parts to that movie that sit alongside one another. That are true. Yeah, exactly. Like that violence is like exaggerated, but then there are parts like with the leprosy. Um, part where it's like not exaggerated and it feels very grounded so it's interesting tonally but I was like what is this cinema yeah you didn't notice the gore until a second viewing I was, as soon as that person's arms came off, when he shot the arrow at them, I was like, what? <laughs> what is happening? Your parents know about it. No, presumably not. No, I don't mean like in advance, I meant like... Oh no, I watched it downstairs in my uh, basement, which was where I lived. Lived in your basement? Yeah. My mum um, had a flat at that point where downstairs was um, a bedroom and an office and that was my space. So I had my bedroom downstairs under under the earth. Under the earth? Yeah, and an okay. office there too. Um, and so I watched DVDs and stuff down there in the basement. Basement? So that's where I watched Mononoke for the first time. Um, it was great though because there was a window up onto the street. I could sneak. I could sneak out. Oh, you could sneak. Yeah. You know, which was never really sneaking out because Mum never really had a problem with me going out anyway. Just, <laughs> but it made it feel exciting. Just didn't want to use the door because yeah. that's for that's for people who don't have basements. It's, that's <laughs> for people who don't have basement windows they can sneak out of. So yeah. Do people knock on the No. Because they'd have to come into like the front garden to do that. So. That would. Well, it was like um, it had a little walkway, you know? It had like a gate and a walkway to the house. And then the basement window opened out onto that. So you'd have to like walk into, like through our gate to get to the window. And people don't generally do that in England. <laughs> If you're in, like, if you're through the gate, you're gonna get squinted at suspiciously from the front window.
I know Kiss says when I was very small, my parents rented Watership Down because it was like a nice cartoon about bunny rabbits. Oh. <laughs> Watership Down actually, actually like really scared me and scarred me mentally as a kid. There's like, I've only seen Watership Down once and I still remember bits of it very clearly because they stuck with me. That, that movie is absolutely brutal i really i hate it <laughs> i'm sorry i hate it i hate it because it scared me so much when i was a kid not because it's a bad movie um but because because it scared me and it still scares me so so much so much gore and awfulness in that movie and it's it's cute animals it's happening to as well, which makes it even worse. I think it's been long enough since I've seen it that I have not seen a lot of like the actual scenes, just the feelings of it. Okay, well it's good uh, that you haven't. <laughs> Don't watch it. Okay. Scary. Isn't it like an allegory for World War One? It wouldn't surprise me if it is. I didn't know that, um, but it definitely wouldn't surprise me if it is. Ayanoki says it actually kicks ass as an adult. I will never know. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, sorry, I had to open up Photoshop and it had a bunch of stuff. Patisserie <laughs> <laughs> chicken. Yeah, actually, Pilkey, I must forget how brutal the Animals of Farthingwood is as well, because that used to be one of my favorite series as a kid. I loved Animals of Farthingwood. The only part I remember that like really upset me was that uh, I think there was a part where there were two hedgehogs trying to cross a road and it didn't go super well. And that made me really sad. I thought Fox was really cool though. I was like, I want to be like Fox someday. I want to be a good leader. <laughs> ben says, I mean, as a kid, I cried when Mr. Bean's car got run over by a tank. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what turned you into the horror loving person you are today then? If you were like, no, Mr. Bean's car. I mean, Mr. Bean loved his car though, didn't he? I don't- I- I can't imagine his car being run over by a tank was meant to be anything but funny though. Was it like framed in a really sad way? He looked so sad! Being Mr. Bean sad must be the saddest thing in the universe actually. This Mr. Bean. Like, no Mr. Bean, please. Don't hurt. Don't hurt Mr. Don't hurt. Mr. Bean doesn't deserve to be sad. He's wonderful. Mr. Bean is that part inside all of us that just wants to be an absolute source of chaos in any given situation. Like the part of us that wants to stick our face into a cake at the wedding or like make shrimp dance around at a buffet. One warp shirt. Turn off the screen so that I can save this. When the girl dances with someone else and Mr. Bean looks so lonely. Oh no! No! You can't stop putting sad Mr. Bean bits into oh. the chat. It's too sad. That's too sad. 
The fish are too sad. I, I haven't seen that, that much, but Mr. Bean. I oh will, my gosh. I will have to say. Could we watch some? I have, however, saw Ron Atkinson talk about the fact that he went to try and buy a secondhand car. And the guy who was selling him the car was like, you know what? You're the spitting image of that Mr. Bean you are. And he goes, oh, well, I'm, I, my name is Ron Atkinson. I, I am the actor that played Mr. Bean. And the car salesman didn't believe him. He's like, no, I don't no, think not. so. <laughs> <laughs> that car salesman must have felt so, like, stupid when he went home later, though, and was like, maybe he was Mr. Bean. <laughs> well, what, what, what do you do in that moment? Like... Does, does Ron Atkinson act like Mr. Bean to prove that he's no. Mr. Bean? Or is he dizzy? This is like, no, I assure you, sir. You take you, your L and you're just like, all right. <laughs> I assure you, sir, I am I am he. I mean, all right. If I buy a car, I'm going to sign the paper, Rowan Atkinson. And, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, why would you bother proving it? Yeah, exactly. Like... All right, fine. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna start doing bits in front of you because I'm so desperate that you recognize me. That's that's fine. That's a funny story though. I do feel like that poor dude probably went home afterwards and was like, oh, 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 it was him. Oh no. Oh no. In the center of the garden. One day, I won't be working on anything NDA, and I just won't have to worry about not sh like. You, you could just um. Do, do what Rolando suggested and make a new profile that doesn't have any of the NDA stuff on it. I should do that. Yep. Do that. Yep. It's a really good idea. What happened to the screen? Oi. It happened to the screen. We're talking about the fact that I'm hiding my screen because I, I have to do file stuff. I'm used to there being something on it, like an NDA screen. Oh. <laughs> you know? No, I just turned off my screen now. Oh, what do you mean you just turned off your screen now? But Rabbit's amazing art, though. But it only covers half. But it only covers half. I said to get your both. Oh. No, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna. Wait, you legit cried as a child when you saw the soldier for the first time. What is it? Is it the bit with the tank and the car? Oh, Mr. Bean. Curious, we missed Cromwell's. India woke up. Okay, 24 minutes ago. India woke up. Dog woke up. Long shadowy creature finally went to sleep. Yay! It needs some rest too. Uh, India woke with a start and jerked upright in bed, hyperventilating. Why am I reading that? You just read this. Look, there you go. No, you, you read it. There you go. Oh, you read it. I can't look. I'm, I'm busy. India, I, went, I meant they could read it. India woke with, with a start and jerked upright in bed, hyperventilating from having a nightmare about an evil little mouse. Sonic <laughs> ran in and skidded to a halt in front of the bed in his trademark red shoes, and he said, Whoa, what's the matter? India rubbed her eyes and asked, Sonic, where's Doug? Sonic blinked, looking confused. Who's Doug? Is he a new friend, Tails made or something? I mean, Is that I kind of love nightmare? this universe, but not so much if Doig isn't in it. If we can find Doig, then that'd be great, though. A quest for Doig. Quest Sonic for in Doig. India. They they run. Gonna find the dog. He's Is this just like a Chromel conversation now? Is this just dreams in dreams in dreams? Yeah, and then Hinka says, My mum put on Mononoke when I was like seven and very ill. She thought it's a cute 2D animated kids thing. Sure, it can't do harm. I fucking puked because of that movie. You puked? <laughs> I was oh, no. so scared of the movie from then on, but now I love it. Oh no. Oh. 
Oh no! You see, that's the danger of advertising every animated movie as if it's for kids. There's the danger. It's then you pick up something like Giver and you're like, oh no, his guts fell out. I'm seven. <laughs> <laughs> I approve this. I'm 50. Okay. You still remember the shape of your puke stain? <laughs> it was the shape of the forest spirit's face just looking back at you. The last unicorn. Oh yeah, that was a scary one too. That scared me as a kid. With the booby yeah. tree? What? The booby tree. There's a booby tree. Yeah, I she grabs she grabs the wizard and smothers him in her bosom and won't let him go. I don't remember the booby tree. Yeah, the booby tree. I did think the harpy was really cool though. Harpy's pretty cool. Like, it was scary, but in a way that I was actually like, okay, no, this is this is baller. This is amazing. The booby tree though, that just made me feel really awkward and weird. I didn't like it. Just I just texture it as if texturing. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> I would shut up. I'm telling you to shut up. I'll tell you shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think I'm gonna have to. This town so lame. I'm feeling so wider. It's four AM. I'm not even It is weird, isn't it, how um the difference between something that you find scary and something that you find very cool. I'm not sure what the difference is. Like, why did the part where um, in Gremlins 2 a gremlin, like, <laughs> with wings rakes a woman's face really, really scare me in a bad way as a kid? But a bit where a harpy with boobies swinging around was dive bombing at a unicorn to try and rake its face was, was fine and cool. What's the difference? I think it was the blood. It's the blood. It's hard to imagine yourself as a unicorn. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I like that response. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean... <laughs> yeah, it's a very fine line, isn't it, between horror and comedy? And it's also a very fine line between something uh, being scary and not scary at all. Not even in a funny way, just like in a this doesn't work way. It's interesting how with horror kind of almost the more you show, the less scary it becomes. Yeah, because your brain has to fill perhaps other. And what your brain fills in is infinitely scarier than what you see. Wait, I think there's a... Yeah! <laughs> it's the last unicorn of anime. I don't know. Uh, it depends how you define anime. If you define it as a style or if you define it as just the Japanese word for animation. Because, well I mean if you define it as a Japanese word for animation, then anything is an anime so long as you're viewing it in Japan. <laughs> and it's animated. 
I guess stylistically, I wouldn't say it's an anime. It feels more Western inspired in terms of style. Yeah, yeah, it does feel kind of Grimm's fairy tale-ish, doesn't it? Ooh, this is a big part of Dark Souls and other FromSoft games. Is uh, Hidetaka Miyazaki grew up reading fantasy books in English, but he didn't understand huge parts and had to use imagination. That's so rad. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, is that why there's some like twisted, twisted stuff in there? And also why it's like it feels quite Western in terms of its um, design philosophy for the world and environment and stuff. Yeah, I think he was inspired um, by French film. Amelie. Amelie. Not Amelie, no. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Amelie. Berserk is a huge influence on me. That makes sense yeah. with the big swords. That does make sense. I really want to read Berserk. Seems cool. The art's beautiful. Dark Souls and Elder Ring is basically Berserk the game. That's that's cool. I have a couple of friends who are super into FromSoft games. And uh I would like to experience Elden Ring. Point. I've I've only heard good things about it. The worst I've heard about it is people saying, "Oh, it wasn't for me." But the consensus seems to be that even if it's not for you, it's still like a really good game. I don't you to unwrap things and texture them properly is because it takes so much fucking time. But but for you, anything. Is there a way to inverse my section? Fucking yas. <laughs> Yasify that. I can say it. Cagliostro. Way! It's so cool. That's the first looping thing I ever saw. That's the one that was. Mm hmm. Damn! Does Miyazaki know how to do car chases? Does something so, like. Um, tactile about them. I like adore his car chases. And Coon says, Rock and Stone! You've been playing Deep Rock Galactic. Gonna move this perspective grid. Gonna move this perspective grid and make it make sense. I 
I will animate the card check it's something you particularly love. I'd love to watch Sherlock Hound at some point too. That looks real rad. Yeah, that was also... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um... Na... Nad something? Aritaba. Um, something of the ocean. Um, it's like a series that Miyazaki worked on before Ghibli, and that looks really cool. I can't remember the name of it right now, though. Nadia or something? Not Future Boy Conan, but that's another one I would like to watch. I think it was Nadia. I think Simo is right. Anya, the robber's daughter. I haven't even heard of that. It's called like Nadia of the Blue Skies or Blue Ocean or something. That's a Goro production. It's something that um, Miyazaki worked on, though, right? Maybe I'm thinking of. Um, uh, Hideki. No, Hideo. Hide. No. Even? No, 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 no. Guy who directed Evangelion. What was his name? Anno. Hideko Anno. Hideki. Hide. 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 Hideki. Hideki Anno. There, I can. I, I got there in the end. Yeah, Nadia Secret Blue Water. I heard of that. What is that? Yeah. Uh, it's one I really want to watch. Um, it looks real cool. Has anyone seen it? What is your favorite Ghibli film by El Miyazaki? I think it's a toss up between Spirited It Away and Mononoke for me. It's a castle in the sky for me. Oh. With um with Mononoke's second favourite. Not to be too predictable, but you know, I mean you get an automatic advantage if you put sky pirates in something for me. No reason to complain. Sure. 
You taught me a North Dakota when I knock in Lapita. Mmm, I love the sense of adventure. Yeah. Whisper of the Heart is your favourite? Oh, that's lovely. Hey, Whisper of the... Oh, you go ahead. I have those looks like... Like the graphic kind of fantasy world. I like, I like the Ghibli worlds and Miyazaki worlds where he has um, flying machines and like some th stuff that is just really like Nausicaa for me as well is really, really up there. There's a sense of world building in that and like old but new but futuristic but oh it's just cool I just love that hmm, the mix of old and new like Nausicaa reminds me of Secret of Mana and there's there's a, like connections in my brain between them yeah it's a sense of adventure for me too that draws me in so much like there's something Legend of Zelda about it too just the thought of like striking out on your own, making your own adventures, finding your own things in this huge world. But um, I also appreciate films like Whisper of the Heart where it's like actually very grounded. Yeah, this is the heart original lo-fi beat skill. It's true, yeah. That was that was what they uh, they ripped to do that, and it spawned so many since become a format. I have some uh, storyboards for Kiki's delivery service that I haven't looked through enough. So what you get? Oh. Oh, Raiden, yeah, 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 vote, 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 vote. You guys want to go visit? We should see if uh, Noir Punk is streaming, since we've just been talking about Ghibli. <laughs> yeah, and they tend to do... Um... Ghibli, like, background paintings. So it, it would be a good vibe to go to. I don't know if they are around today, but if they are... He's not online today. Ah. Oh well. Oh no, Punk is taking a break from streaming. Oh really? I hope everything's okay. I hope it's it's just a I fancy a break and not a oh I'm burned out. Taking a month off, good for him. Dreaming is, uh, it can be tough. It Seems can. like a, a stupid thing to complain about because it's like, you get to do what you love and chat to people, which is pretty awesome. But also it is sometimes difficult to make um, good progress on developing your art and improving your work. 
um, when you can't dedicate your full concentration to what you're doing. Marketildo says, what the fuck? Don't Wait, don't ra raid me. Wait, he didn't say what the fuck. He said laugh at my fucking Wait, ass. don't raid Sorry. me. I'm going to raid you in a second. No, Ma, it's too late. We're going, we're going to raid you. <laughs> we're going to raid you. Don't raid us. We're about to raid someone else. Probably you. Raid war. Quick, raid him. <laughs> <laughs> Before he can get away. <laughs> He's already in our chat though. He might be already. <coughs> he might already be like showing people. No, oh, no. This is it. <laughs> this is it. We got him on the ropes, guys. <laughs> Shouldn't have shown your face around here, Ma. <laughs> raid you. <laughs> We're gonna raid you. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Do we have to wait for the poll to finish first? I don't. Come on, guys. We're gonna lose. <laughs> don't want us to lose do get you him. get him Mar, look at my shirt i'm making a twerp shirt because it arrived in the post and i want to wear it both in and off yeah stream. i'm wearing mine right now are you yeah yeah uh, i mean yeah i'm sat next to you you can you can see me wearing it <laughs> i don't i don't turn around <laughs> that's how i lose things yeah look 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 i got cool cool <clears throat> cool David Lou uh, twerp shirt. Turn around. Your shirt looks so good. Thank you. Shirt on top of a sweater. That's stylish. That's 90s layering. I've never heard of 90s layering. Well, I mean, <clears throat> it can either <laughs> Mar won. Mar wins the poll. Yeah! Go, 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 go! Now raid, quick! <clears throat> what would happen if... Oh no, you actually did it! What yeah! if he's ended already? That's too late, you can't end now. Don't end, Ma. We're coming over. <laughs> Don't leave the house We're yet. Coming. We're, We're coming. We're coming for you. Went over. He's still streaming. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. What should the raid call be? Surprise! <laughs> you know, because it's so surprising. Get him. Okay, I'm not going to. Good. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. So I wasn't going to tell anyone about this, but oh. uh, I've added little. You see these little numbers? No. India doesn't see them. I don't see the them. The 1.9 and the 1.9. Those are damage modifiers I've added. I've added a smash mechanic. So every time we get bombed, we get that number goes up and we get thrown further based on the. I think this damage. is just your obsession of numbers going up. Numbers go. I like smash. No. <laughs> Too late though. You guys, you only got us up to 1.9. You'll have to come back next stream. You have to come back. We're ending. We're ending. We're, ending. We're going to Mar. We're going to leave. Until next time. May the rest of your day be filled. Be filled with <laughs> adventure. adventure. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. Bye bye. I got no reason to complain. <laughs>